So this is a male monarch butterfly and it's been tagged with a tag from Monarch Watch which is an organization out of the University of Kansas. It's a citizen science program um, that people can order these tags and they either go out and they capture monarch butterflies or you know in our case if you're rearing and releasing them you affix a tag to their wing usually starting the last week of August and then running through their entire migration which in Northwest Ohio usually lasts through the early part of October. Say this butterfly makes it to New Mexico and it dies, it gets hit by a truck or, or something of the sort. Somebody finds this tag and there's an eight or there's a phone number that they can call and report the number of the tag so that that gives you know, scientists a little snapshot of where this butterfly originated from and where it ended up. And so that helps tell scientists a lot more about um, these insects' migration. And the more data they can gather on it, the better, and we can figure out why and how they're, they're making it to Mexico. And a lot of people ask, you know, does that hurt the butterfly? Does it affect the flight? The tag is extremely lightweight, and they've done all sorts of scientific investigations with their flights and it doesn't affect their flight at all. This guy's got a, a rough road to hoe because of all the wildfires and everything in Texas right now. So the entire monarch mar uh, migration west of the Rocky Mountains will head through that area with um, the fire. So we're pretty concerned about how many are actually going to make it for the overwinter to the overwintering grounds this year.